is everybody doing? Uh, this is Sir Lancelot here. Uh, I want to kind of go over uh, a, a new video topic that was confusing me when I first started. I think it's uh, good information to get out, and I actually got a lot of really good information from uh, Nano over at uh, the Screep Slack channel. Uh, so I will be linking uh, the notes that he sent me in the description below so if you'd like to read those afterwards uh, take a look down there <clears throat> so basically whenever you finish the tutorial which I highly highly suggest uh, you're going to get ready to join the the, the real world air quotes around that uh, at that point you're gonna need to pick a room so we talked in the last video about like what a room entails uh, but uh, we didn't really talk about picking the right room for you. So there's uh, a few things that you need to know before you pick a room that aren't really explained to you very well. Uh, one of these things are uh, levels. So you have what's known as a global control level and a room control level. Uh, a room control level is basically the level of your controller within your room. So currently the level of my controller is level two, um, because side note, I got wiped out last night because I didn't have time to put defenses down, but that's neither here nor there. So my controller is currently level two, so my room control level is, is level two. My global control level is seen here, and that is, uh, that is advanced to the next level via control points. The way you get control points, oh shit, the way you get control points is by leveling up controllers. So it takes 1 million control points to get to global control level 2. Uh, that, that's, you know, your first goal of a room. Uh, once you get to the, once you get that, you can actually uh, travel to a new room, claim that controller, place new spawn, etc. So that's our goal whenever we're picking rooms: is we want to advance our global control level. Uh, the best way to do that is to pick a good room, and picking a good room should uh, follow a few priorities, if you will. So the main one, the number one priority is that your room has to have two sources in it. Uh, the sources, if you remember, are these little squares right here. They're the energy sources that you draw energy from. It has to have two. Like, don't pick a room to start in if it doesn't have two because you're going to have a bad time. Uh, it's very, very preferable if your energy sources, sources, plural again, uh, have enough room around them for more than one creep to harvest at a time. Uh, so if you'll see in mine, I got really lucky with this room. I actually can have seven creeps harvesting at the same time. So this uh, energy source has a square here that can be harvested from, here, and here. Whereas this one has four. It has here, here, oh shit, here, 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 and I did that wrong. Now I've confused myself. Here, I believe. So one, two, three, four. I might be wrong. It might be. It might only be six. But regardless, it's more than one. Apologize about that. Uh, so the main the moral of the story is it's preferable to find uh, rooms with sources that can be reached by more than one creep at the same time. So it's not so much of an issue in in later rooms because you can build bigger creeps which uh, they don't bump, bunch up as much because they can hold more. Like currently, I don't have that many creeps in here because I have very large creeps. Uh, I say very large in relation to my current room level. But um, So yeah, so you try and find a room with two sources and uh, two sources that can be reached by more than one creep. Additionally, you want to avoid swampy rooms. So there's that's kind of the, the con about this room, is there's a lot of swamp. Uh, all this green here is swamp. And the reason why you want to avoid this is because uh, your creep itself cannot move. It can't, so it can't move to the next area unless 
its fatigue is at zero. So depending on the surface you're walking on, your fatigue grows and your move body part diminishes that to zero, allowing it to move. So the more move parts you have, the faster this fatigue gets to zero and it's able to move again. Uh, in swap, your fatigue is much higher than in plain road and even more so on roads, which are these little gray things. So the idea is to find a room that is not very swampy. Uh, additionally, I'm probably going to say that word a lot because, it, you know, these kind of build on each other. But uh, you want to aim for a room that's kind of in between other good rooms. So don't just, like, find one room that's in a bunch of, you know, enemy players uh, that, you know, this room is good. I don't have to worry about further on. You kind of need to plan your strategy before you pick a room in general. So look at the rooms around it. Try and find other rooms with two energy sources. Try and find other rooms that aren't swampy. Try and find other rooms that uh, that you can plan to move into at a, at, at your your next global control level. Um, additionally, aim for an area. So every I can show you the world here. So aim for an area, which are uh, basically these little cubes here. I think those are yeah. So these are these are areas, right? So Na aim for an area that has many rooms that are that are good. So don't just like I said, don't just find one and and grab it and not expect to have to expand later. Because if you grab one like right here, for instance, uh, you're gonna have to fight these other people to get these rooms, and you know that's the only option. So me, for instance. I probably could have chosen a better location because this guy is, is pretty strong. Dr. Flizzle here, uh, he, he's, got, he's got a pretty high control level. Uh, let's see if we can look at his profile and see his... Yeah, he's got a global control level of 6. So he is much higher than me, much higher level. So there's a, there's a pretty good chance that he might try and invade me. Um, so I, uh, it's, it's very important to build up defenses because once your safe level or once your safe uh, time, safe mode goes away, they're able to, to, to actually come into your room. So I've, I've already built walls. I'm trying to, to build those up. We talked about that in the last video. And we'll get, in, we'll get into more uh, gameplay and sort of you know, getting to this point later on. I just kind of want to give you the basics first. Uh, and for a f in kind of a conclusion, uh, you see this little K here. So this is what's known as a mineral. Uh, basically, you don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, minerals can be combined later on to either boost your creeps or sell, and you actually don't even have the ability to mine those until room control level 6, uh, which, as you can see, I've been playing this for a long time tonight with this room, and I'm only at room control uh, level 2 and this is the progress so I'm about 10,000 of 45,000 so it's gonna take a little bit so you can't even begin to mine these until room control level 6 and then you can combine them and use them or sell them or both etc and you, you should already have a few rooms by that point anyway so uh, again you, you shouldn't really worry about that right now uh, but other than that that's about that's those are the basics um, I wanted to make this kind of a short video, just explaining, you know, what you need to look for when picking a new room. Uh, again, uh, I learned almost all of the information that I've learned from people like Nano over at the uh, Screep Slack. They're extremely helpful. So once you begin your game, once you begin the tutorial, you know, look for that Screeps channel or the Screeps channel on Slack. Get your invitation and ask any questions that you have. Uh, I'll, I'll end with uh, reading. You should read the documentation. You should read the documentation and you should play the tutorial. Those, uh, those I cannot stress enough. So do that and it will be a lot easier for you starting off. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer and get back to you. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment if you think I could do things better, if you have suggestions for future videos of things you'd like to see. 
Uh, and hopefully we'll see you around the, uh, the Screeps world. So, thanks.